firelight. The steady firelight that this eve illuminates us each in turn, our gazes silently enriched, we watch its embers burn, and from our eyes bright corners see reflections of the one so dear, who sit beside us faithfully and tend the fire to us so near. The warmth we feel from either side adds to the warmth the fire displays, until at last, one after one, they're called away to our dismay. And then the wind grows colder still, as warmth we once felt now is gone, a wind whose power to chill increased, one friend less now we grow alone. So do we then come closer still and gaze into the fire? Or do we drift away as we too hear the calling lyre? What once seemed bond of flesh and bone amidst the friendship's start is now a fragile note of sadness plucked upon the heart. A reed of grass which even now is tossed by gentle wind being not so fragile still as that which will not bend. But ever even then the edge does call us to its way, a glance, a look, a smile, a word, and then a price to pay.